And some news on a local race. A Democrat running to be the next representative of California's 24th district is calling for a major overhaul of campaign financing. Karina Corral is profiling all of the candidates and she introduces us this time to William Ostrander. Karina? Well, as Ostrander says, corrupt politics goes back to those who fund campaigns. So he's asking all the candidates in this race to sign what he calls the People's Pledge. Here's a look at that pledge and where else he stands on other issues. This is the pledge William Ostrander wants everyone in the race for the 24th congressional seat to sign. You signed it. Has anybody else in the race signed it? No one else has signed it. I'm the only one who signed it. It basically says a candidate won't accept third-party anonymous donations and won't allow a smear campaign. So what we really want is people to invest in campaigns that are from that district who want to see the right person with the right ideas. As director of the nonprofit Citizens Congress, it's a similar policy he wants enacted nationwide, saying money has too much of an influence in politics when wealthy individuals and corporations are the only ones donating to campaigns. So there tends to be a prejudice from the candidate itself to only hear the concerns of the wealthiest people. Leaving concerns like affordable education out of discussions. With more than a trillion dollars in student debt dragging down our economy, Ostrander supports a free community college education and a volunteer program that gives students money for their time. That's nice to have them volunteer and you get money, but still, where does that money come from? Well, first of all, we need to realize that funding our education is the same thing as funding a highway. It's an absolutely essential component of our infrastructure. For health care, he supports a single-payer insurance or Medicare for all, as well as amnesty for the millions of undocumented immigrants in the U.S. Those people that are here by a study of Harvard have actually shown to improve our lives as legal residents of the United States. Economically, they are a boon. All issues, he says, can't change until the system does.